Now more than ever, we should be designing websites with accessibility in mind. And one of the easiest things that you can do as a designer or developer is ensure that your colors you're utilizing on your website pass accessibility guidelines and standards to ensure that the color contrast meets the minimum requirements. Today, I'm gonna to show you the tool that I use to test my colors for accessibility, as well as an extra nifty tool to incorporate into your future website builds. All right, so on my website here, I have a color palette already set up within my Generate Press global color settings. And in order for me to verify the accessibility contrast requirements of these colors, I'm going to utilize a tool by Learn UI Design that's an accessible color generator. There are definitely a lot of accessible color contrast checkers on the web, but this one seems to be the one that I always come back to that makes it so simple and easy and provides an instant recommendation based on my selection. So if we come back to my color palette, we choose this primary color and copy the hex code. We're gonna input this on the foreground color because this shows us the closest variations of this color that contrast against this color. So this is showing us when this orange is present on a white background, for large and bold text, it passes for double A guidelines. However, for triple A guidelines, which is a more strict website accessibility guideline, it does not pass. But instead, what Learn UI Design's tool does for us is recommends the closest variation of that color that does pass the AAA guidelines. Now for me, most of the time, I'm only utilizing the AA guidelines. And so when it comes to the AA, this combo works. However, for small text, they recommend us use this darker hue against white to ensure that it passes the AA guideline. Now, if we come to the secondary one here, which is the alternate to my orange, this one is darker and, as you can see, passes on both options for large and bold text on white and using it on small text on white as well. So we'll want to keep that in mind as we're designing. Next, we can take our blue color here and do the same thing. And as you can see with this blue color, it actually passes on AA guidelines used against white for both large and small text as well. And as you can imagine, the darker the color is, the easier it is going to be to pass these guidelines. So by inputting our alternate blue, which is a darker hue, this easily passes the AA guidelines as well. Now, if we wanted to say, okay, I would like to use this orange on my dark blue, so we'll go ahead and copy this one, input it here. So then we need to grab that dark blue color, copy the hex code and input it on the background. So now, as you can see, this combo does work by utilizing orange text if it's large or bold on this dark blue background. However, for small text, it does need to be a much lighter hue of orange against the dark blue in order to be readable for AA guidelines for web accessibility. Now, to take this a step further, what we can do is check out one of the tools by Snippet Club. They have a dynamic color matrix that you can utilize in Generate Press that pulls in all the colors from your customizer global colors and creates an accessibility color matrix to let you know automatically what colors can be used with each other on the foreground and background and which cannot. We've already set this up and enabled it on our website. And as you can see, we've got our primary, our primary alt, secondary, and then our variations of black. And any square in this matrix that is blank is not going to be anything you can utilize. And so the colors on top are the foreground and the colors on the left are the background. So if we see here, our primary color actually works great for the dark and black and passes 
the accessibility guideline standards. If we toggle this ratings toggle, it'll actually let us know which level of standards it does pass. So these two of the primary on the black and the dark one pass AA ratings. Now, if it has a G on this matrix, that is for graphical elements only. We can toggle the ratings on and off so that we can see, again, which elements they should be used for or should not. As you can see, some of these that are blank can actually be good enough to be used for graphical elements, but should not be utilized for text. This color matrix is a great addition to your starter site and be able to utilize on all future builds and will automatically update as you add your global colors in the Generate Press customizer. As you're building your website, you can always leave this color matrix open in a new tab so that you can always reference whether or not you should use certain color combos for your text to make sure that your colors align with accessibility standards. So that's my process that I use when building websites to check my color contrast for accessibility standards. Keep in mind that accessibility should always come first. Even if there's a color combo you want that just isn't passing the guidelines, you should seek alternatives that are close enough to achieve the look you're going for without compromising on accessibility. I appreciate your support, and if you like this video, be sure to like the video below and subscribe for future videos to come. Thanks a lot.